pork will shoot any white man. He sees on the street. I don't know that you are wrong. History will teach you two sides of the coin. Yes. We were exploited. But I got not some political things that came out of the land. Or not. Our brilliant interaction with the white man benefited us in one way or the other. So we tell you if we did not come into contact with them, we would have been far better. And I'm going to say, I can't. So it is only history that will give you a dual perception. Yes, initially the letters had a single mandate. Exploitation. That was the main thing. But in the call of exploiting Africans, something positive came out of it. Remember the Akanta? This was what happened with a separator. When God said that, look, it is not good to throw the children's food to the dogs. And the woman said, if it is a crop from the master's death, let them go to the dogs. So the Europeans came for exploitation and things. But history will teach you that in the part of exploitation, they had to develop some facilities. They never get the next point. Yes. Christianity was a habit of colonial agreement. No doubt about that. This will be telling that Christianity is a habit of colonial In what way? They started preaching the Christian faith so as to pacify the minds of Africans. Oh, we belong to the universal brotherhood of Christ. If your neighbor stabs you and they write you, don't be left. They were preaching pacifism so as to win the hearts of the people. Yes, it's a simple fact. And that's why Jomo Kenyatta in his little book, Facing Mount Kenya, he wrote it wrongly that when the Europeans came to Africa, Africans had the land and the Europeans had the Bible. When they came, they told Africans to close their eyes and pray. When Africans opened their eyes, they had the Bible and the Europeans had the Bible. Land. Yes, it is true. But history will go for to tell you that they have given out the Bible, they are taking the land. What do we do? Why not use the positive side of the Bible to develop yourself? And why not devise a means, even from the Bible we gave you, to reclaim your land? So the historians think both ways. But other related disciplines think one way. There is a book written by an international scholar, what are they? How Europe and the developed world Africa. Yes. A monumental book, How Europe and the Developed Africa. When people read it, they will say, oh, this book be us. Fortunately, when we are in the we are giving the book to review. And I told my history lecturer that I don't buy all the ideas of what I wrote. That what I wrote was just giving one way without applying prayer. No, it's not 
was one way to If you are talking about how Europe would have developed Africa, can you mention how Europe was to develop North Africa? Whether it is by design or accident. That's the problem. Skepticism, viewing things from different sides. Viewing things from different sides. In Nigeria and Africa, we try every day. We are where we are to recognized by Europe. For how many years? For how many years? That is the question. South Africa was colonized by Britain that colonized us. America, the almighty America, was also colonized. And America colonizing in, I mean, British colonialism in America was absolute. Total. Highly exploitative. Human. But the history of how they were enjoying their freedom before this day, most of the people said, No, this is not the truth. Their independence was not given a part of gold. They had to fight for it. And today, whoever remembers, that almighty America was colonized by the same country that colonized Nigeria. History will tell you, accept the realities, use what happened to fashion out solutions on how to move forward. Use what has happened to you to move forward. This is pretty necessary. So without history, society will be done that. Society will be done that. It is only history that will tell you the blueprint of how to move ahead. During the Japan and Iraqi war, some scientists went back to roots. They did not wait for cutting edge technology to make progress. They established a unit, research and production, the rap unit. They almost entered the laboratories with little or nothing on historical ideas and came out with things that sustained the war for almost three years. We are with that spirit. You talk of communalism. We need to go back to our roots. Many people today in Nigeria and in the land, to be precise, are homeless and have no future of how you want. But if you go back to the history of architecture in Igbo land, for example, you will now see that no individual, only few, build houses of their own. If you are ready to build a house, all it will take you is organizing food and able-bodied men in the village will come and help you erect the house. No person was homeless. If you read the works of a writer in Ghana, his narratives, you see that lazy men were not part of the evil society. Today, we are building houses that we cannot occupy. Houses that we cannot occupy. You go home and you are beaten by cobwebs. 
Many of us build houses that have not entered some rooms for the past three years. West and nothing called West. But if you know the history of architecture in Igbo land, do you not know that you don't need to build houses that are not needed? You don't. We now follow what happens house. Our parents never got asked questions. You send your student, your girl or your boy to university and give him or her 10,000 naira in a semester. What are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? If you go back to the roots, parents value their children. They ask the question. If you get something that they don't know the source, they will ask you. But because parents have related the past to the background, they don't have the power to ask questions. You give your son a daughter 10,000 in his list. How do my team have to survive? We are no longer doing our parental roles. One of my uncle's child bought an Android phone for the mother. At the end of it, that phone to be will not be less than 100,000. For those who know the value of the that is more than 150,000. I went to her one day and she came dancing that her mother bought this phone for me. I screamed. Her mother bought this phone. A student bought a phone of over 100,000 there and you are dancing. For the best society back, we must go back to roots. In the past, the mother will ask her, where did you get this from? How did you get the money? How did you get the money? We must go back to the roots. Some 10 years ago, I visited a friend of mine, who is a professor with the Joker University, the right place of he is really a Jinobo. Why young man came with, I don't know the name of that, Porsche, Porsche, a car. I was told that the price, I cannot imagine. And they said this boy left Obo about a year before he brought that Porsche. And because some of the elders never went to history with them. When people we are drinking, making maybe, one of them just raised his hand and said, please, before we go further, my son, he put the remote in the remote, gave three hands. Let me repeat the fact that he put the remote in the remote, gave three hands. Meaning, did you buy this car or did you steal it? I was physically dying. I said, thank God. Society still has some people that can act as their prayer thoughts. So we celebrate evil simply because we don't want to put our roots. Look at our young girls, our young boys. Parents do not call them together to discuss issues of importance. Parents don't tell them stories that will give them good morals. Parents don't, in most cases, tell them what they should do in order to survive. 
where is our traditional education? Where is the duty of our traditional education? At a young age, a girl is not how to sit properly. A girl is not how to sit properly. But because our parents no longer remember how we used to be in the class, they don't teach them anything again. If a girl is taught how to sit properly, if he is wearing trousers or shorts, she will sit like a woman. And that is why, and besides me, I said I was about at my own views. In my class, if I want to hear, you have to listen to it. In my class, no here, no woman stays on the front row. You cannot sit on the front row in my class because they don't know how to sit. This is traditional education. And the only way we can do this is to go back to our roots. How did we survive? We talk of any deaths. 50, 60, 70, we are dying. And I was telling the group of people, why can't we die? Traditionally, many of us served our parents and served the building. Some of us had to go to the street in the morning, twice or once before going to school. Some of us spent so hard to come back from school and we are going to go and make a room to cook something. The beautiful guys. We start our friends. Today, we have children. Instead of allowing our children to serve us, we are not serving our children. And we are this, we will not know why we die so early. After setting our friends, we are serving our children. We wash their clothes, we iron their clothes, we drive them to school, we give them one box. We give them one box. Some of us even go to Take them to where they write the exams or what they do. And they finish. When we are in time to grow. In the past, parents enjoyed their children. Now our children are in very good. I was taking my little boy to school one day. He says, Daddy, he said, yes. Why don't we use this car to go to school? I said, why? Well. He said, George, he wants to be, he wants us to use this car to go to school. I said, tell me this. Do you know the reason? For her class, his classmates to know that it is not only this related car that that has. I said, ah, you want to do that part for you so that they will know that you belong. Okay. For making this suggestion, for one week, you will go to school on your own. We went to school, and as I said, first we had, when we came back, and there was this prospect of cooking something. Now we spoil our kids. Is it the white man that is telling us to spoil our kids? It is not. It is because we lack the sense of history. We don't know how to grow our children again. We end up serving them until we die. Until we die. When I gave that punishment to my son, my wife, the next morning, tried to dismount. She is going to work. So I said, go to the office. Hey, get back. To school. This is money for taxi. When you get to that point, you your school. 
So history is not something we will just place somewhere here and take that we go for. Little things matter. I remember the day when I was a kid. Mothers can make a pot of soup without basically anything from them. You get the firewood from somebody's farm. You collect the fire from your neighbor. Oh, Mama Kiji, this useless children, they didn't go to sleep. Please, can you give me two, three cups of water? They will give you water. You go. So, if I don't have salt, they give you salt. By the time you collect from, that's communality. By the time you collect from your neighbors, a pot of soup is ready. But today, there are people who live next to the neighbors without talking to each other for years. They get system. You build the house, what did they get prison? My brothers and sisters here, when last did you visit your maternal home? My fellow students are asking you, when last did you visit your maternal home? If you don't know your maternal home, you don't know history. Because your history is incomplete without knowing your maternal home. And that's why society is degrading day by day. We don't see history as a story of a crack alone. No. There are basic things. I don't want to, the paper is there. I don't want to just start saying what is on yours. The practicality of history as a tool for national development. It is because we don't have sense of history that a political party in Nigeria has the temerity to present a Muslim Muslim ticket. In a societal sense of history, that thing will not happen. Is that in Nigerians? Is that in Nigerians? Most important things. I want to assure you that that is a sure way of putting the Quran into that imagination. From what you say, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It matters a lot. If you read the history of the country, you now know that it is not a religious state. It is not. It's a secular state. You go to the north, you can't find a Christian that is what it will be your running mate. We are not preaching revolution, but those in power are preparing the ground for it. What happened in Malaysia? Is it related to Sri Lanka? Yeah. Is still on? Sri Lanka. We made a dice today. When we got pushed to the war. It is only a knowledge of history that we tell people, in telling the politicians, that there is need for balance. That it is the balance. We bring out the law, head speech. When we force people to talk every day, and they say, don't make any head speech. When your policies are head right, all over. So, for us, actually, to get it right, Recognize history, borrow ideas from the past, and use it to shape the present so that 
our children and children of God will enjoy. I thank the government for bringing back this. Yes, that is a step forward. But let us try as much as possible to make it work. History should be made part and parcel of studies in every university. Let this be introduced as a general studies course. General studies. So that every person passing through the university will know the history of the country and the history of the area. When we met last some four years ago, which is now put the practice. We talked of variations, mean adherence, variations, innovations. Clifford University is in the world. I just think it is necessary for the history and the market studies department to introduce an innovation by studying the history of either Ubalat or other states. It is also necessary for people in the university to introduce church history with emphasis on the Adventist church. It is only through this way that we can appreciate history. I thank the management for history and diplomatic studies but the writer stopped, stepped out of second cycle. For us, we encourage students to read history. I think it is a little bit early, too early, to introduce international relations when the history of the studies is here to start properly. My advice is that there is nothing in international relations that is not studied under his name and diplomatic studies. It's a duplication. So if you want history to grow as a subject, I plead and suggest that international studies department, international relations department should mind with history and diplomatic studies. That is one point. Again, the department should encourage students to write on local history. That's the only way to know our past, our roots. What do you think a student can contribute to scholarship by writing on the United Nations? and the war, and the Gulf War, for example. <laughs> it's a big topic, but the student virtually cannot make any contribution. There are so many things that are not yet recorded. Let us look good history. Like the former speaker said, There will be a time department students that are sharp give them their project topics to write on the history of the university. If they write it, that is near for society. This is the traditional period. The campus is now at the time shall come be at Oberenta. If the history is not recorded here, how do we know that there was a movement from point A to point B? So, history should, as a matter of necessity, be encouraged from primary, secondary, and tertiary level. And at the primary, secondary levels, the curriculum should be enhanced. What is their present 
is too much for the kids. I have already missed uh, some mission to the DC, which are coming to the Jewish Center of Nigeria. There is a need to review the curriculum because if you read your new history and make it only books, students will be scared to read history. So for us to be alive, for us to be relevant, history is the price. So let us promote history. Let us do this. Speak this. Now let us. Hello. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Thank you, Prof. Thank you so much. That's to show that uh, he is quite a historian. I, I used to think that history is all about mentioning dates of ancient times. But well, he has uh, done justice to tell us what history is all about. Thank you, Prof, for that wonderful, wonderful presentation. Please round of applause for him once again. Just to inform us that today is uh, the beginning of the diplomatic week and the brother has told us that we should include the history, history and diplomatic week. So we, the opening ceremony is what we are doing today. We've had uh, two presentations today to God's glory. As Prof was doing that presentation, a couple of persons walked in. Permit me, dear ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the presence of uh, Dr. Fine Goji, who is the head of the Department of English and Literary Studies of this great university. Doc, you are welcome, ma'am. You are welcome. We also want to recognize the present, uh, the stepped in and the uh, stepped out uh, of the university boss, Ada Kedichi Wambo. And uh, also, most importantly, we want to recognize the arrival and the presence of our dear father and brother, Elder. John Wambrough. John Wambrough is the chairman of the council at the state community. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome. And the wife, the beautiful wife, is also with you. You are welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to call on stage for us to digest all the thoughts we've been having all this while by a music interview that will be given to us by a solo from our brother, Brother Rufus, while the opening ceremony will continue. Um, let's invite up to the stage, Brother Rufus. Please, a round of applause for him. Please, just to inform us that all students should please sit down and uh, stop moving about. Every person in this auditorium, please, we, we request that you stay put on your seats so that the rest of the programs will commence in the room. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In the history, Jesus came as a baby boy, as a helpless baby boy. But this time around, when he will come, he will come in his glory, and every eye shall see him. Coming in his glory, and every knee must bow and all tongues and confess that Jesus Christ, He is the Lord. Happy birthday. Thank you. 
But please, distinguished guests, permit me to inform you that before Honorable Commissioner comes up to speak, uh, we have a, a cola on our tables and then an evil balance as a view with all joker. Please, permit me, uh, sir, Honorable John, sir, please, uh, as the chairman of the occasion, the, uh, the cola is before us. Please do justice to it, sir, before Honorable Commissioner. Some people are a book. I am history and diplomatic studies. I'm very first part this. A man known as a quiet, the great George.
But when I passed there, I thought I was in London. Because he made a history. I've not seen a bridge fly over as beautiful and solid as that one. And we are the music in the United States. I don't think there's any other one. The way you're talking about history, we keep making history in our life. Any first class student teach history and public relations, the person will be, I mean, they will tell you that he made the history of being the first class student of this particular department. My promise is that history is in born in us. History is either you will create it today or you have created it. But you may not know that somebody recalls the history that you met. It's only the Bible that we know. If you read from Genesis, you will now find out what God said in the beginning. God created the world. The people that say that they are not there again. It's only you realize that the Bible book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, 17. I'll tell you that all scriptures is being inspired by God. So those people that wrote it, the inspiration came to God and they put it down. Nobody will give history. It's only people who want to get things wrong, wrongly, not rightly. I will tell you there is nothing like history that is not a very good subject. It's not a very good subject. Somebody will ask you how are you born? In which hospital? If these things are not recorded, you don't have history. You think the presidential candidate of ABC, the man is being required because where did you go to school? If you meet the one wrong with the other, the man will not be said. So if you didn't meet him, who did you meet? Who was the principal? The man cannot write. Okay, he went to one of the university. They were sad, sad. People went there to prove the man wrong that his sister is a very wrong one. You put pen and paper, write it what you have seen today. Will abandon leave it behind. Somebody will read it. Because the history to the person. Because that you don't know that somebody reveals to you from the history. You know so they cannot be go you can't be an ambassador of a, this nation without passing through this history and uh, international relations. Well, because people bribe their ways and do so many things, that's why you will go, you will listen to the news and see that the Nigerian ambassador dealt with his wife and the wife died. Because probably the man passed through, he read English, he did not do any second degree in international relations. Then his brother or sister will buy him to go. Back to go and become an ambassador. International relations is something you read. I didn't, I learned that uh, the still back in. Unfortunately, that's what we call a law strength in science. I'm a lawyer by profession. What we call strength in science is president. And by the time I was listening to Doctor the Professor Wadike. I found out that what we have been doing, reading President's judgment that we passed, is also history. So it's legal history. So if you say history is everywhere, they will take you to the library to go and read. What are you reading? It's history being created by people. It's a one world. In fact, it's an institution in Uganda through the only man we recognize as a legend in those old days. The associated with it, climbed to the height of being, was a commissioner who was looking at it, a very young man, a very person. 
You can't annoy you. You start not to speak. You will dance. If you will have written part of the things he wrote as a young man that time, that history will not end. You see, I did not kill my father's uh, cow, the cow, the traditional cow for burial in Mubala, then my father died. Well, I came from a particular religion that forbids those things. But then I came out, I've been thinking about how would I go to do this thing that my father for me. My younger brother came from Switzerland. He went to somewhere and he stayed there. Somebody said, let me tell you the history. But you don't know. People have not even known the pressure now to the right to the of your grandfather. You carry this car, you come and you put it. What particular thing you have not done it? <laughs> I was somewhere in the vast hospital. The boy called me. He came from him. He went to the market and bought two cows, four goods. The boy called it was a rigid thing. The people went to into the archive and brought the history and what to do. By the time we finished, they told us that you cannot kill cow that particular day that is on the way to day. And then you cannot do Ryuku, it will be 21 days. That will bring me back to what my brother did this morning about Ula. So my traditional ruler, let's get the head of the world, call them, come here, you are food. But this mouth, you use the saying that today is only Google, that you can also say today is only you I know you. Go and get money from them and tell him. Say they are saying today is only you and kill the cow so that they will not die. And at the end of the day, they say we should give them 10,000 and we give them. So when we give them the money, they come back and say, oh, they got they got that and say. Already you call a taboo in that. But we're not the blood taboo you. But we're telling you that taboo you, but you will not have a taboo. Just like what uh, the one broke up. Uh, and the one broke up on that quick, you know, a false right now. So they went and killed the cow. That was how I did my father's uh, traditional right, very right. So, it becomes a history in my place that you can tell them and say that I can go to face of the age of people. So, history has been created on daily basis. As we live here today, this is the first time the history and the public relations department is big. It will be Tomorrow, you will write it at the Barista Eisenhower King here. The first day you have your video uh, briefing about history and public relations. What I will promise to this school is that during my primary school days, I was a very, I was very good in history because I can tell you stories. And they will call me to tell and tell. Here and there, then we read about what on the food you and all the rest of them. That was which they made. And we read all of them. But today you cannot see second general, I mean primary school, but then you ask them, do you know, even what if you ask them number of states in Nigeria, they may not tell you. Ask them what happened to you three years ago. The teacher you will not. They renamed them and called them correct affairs and pushed them to the high level, secondary school. So we just see what they are teaching them today is change it something that will not take them back to understand what the history is all about. I promise this department that as long as I stay, that I will encourage the schools. I will also inform my colleague that will make it compulsory 
There are so many things that we are building on. The road safety people came the other day and said that, look, they will assist them, build traffic laws into the system so that people will start learning it from trading. We said, okay, we'll do that. But this history has been there. It's been a thing that will tell you this is Nigeria. From 1960 to today, people have the history. Some of us don't have it. Like Professor Wadik, as he says here, he will give you the details, date and that. He will tell you the best. Because it's their own job to say, historian, you are not there. So I go and put my law and look at the president that we created. Judgment. Once they give judgment from Supreme Court, they become the final judgment as a lawyer. We have it. I myself as Biden. Anytime you get to that place, you say, Me Lord, in so that so take, that was a matter, read page, and this is Lord. Lord report me that you will get what I'm saying. He will tell you if you have a Lord report, read it. Once you read it, the man will write at the end of it. Then his passage is judgment, you will see him be reading. And these are history. All history, people formulated, and they are there. As president, they will not go away until the Supreme Court overrules themselves. So, my promise to this school is that we're going to be a worker in government, giving proposals of what we want. Because if we give it, the man keeps studying. Even if you buy books up to 100, you will read it. And we will call you and say, I'll say what you wrote. This one will go, this one will not go. But this history, we keep it. We must keep it going from primary school to secondary school. I will promise you that we must have to make it a compulsory subject. And at the end of the day, they will now. Two people will guide them beyond, and they sincerely believe that. Tell you that we also tell the law makers in this country that as well as they, if you are interviewing an ambassador, you don't have any background in history, public relations. Why are you taking the person to be an ambassador? Go, it doesn't do anything about it, and it's not it's going to spoil our current name there. So, we force them to start learning this thing. We have to make a policy, and that policy from start. I thank the Madame that came and invited me, and I know that in the ministry where I am, with what the people that left there and left the Lord for me, I know I will leave my own mark. And that mark I will leave is my promise that you will get more students in the next academic season. And you will expect more students. Because if you don't have, if you don't need them, you will tell them what you will get. Lawyers today are very much there. Because everyone wants to be a lawyer. And you don't, if you don't want to be a lawyer, you must have to attach yourself to something. You want to be a very good doctor, but you must have to start from somewhere. So, this uh, history that people are in, and you want to break your own, invent your own history. And I pray that God that brought us here also will give us the wisdom and understand that our boys who are here today will also understand that you are making headway because you may not be a minister, you may not be an ambassador without passing through this particular department. Thank you and may God bless you. Thank you, Honorable Commissioner. This you can do better than that. You can do better than that. We thank you, we thank you, sir, for having come to, to identify with the history department of this great institution. Distinguished guest, please, uh, you will react in the GP, but before you do that, uh, it, it will interest you to hear from our students to know how far they've come in this study of history and diplomatic.
diplomatic studies. Next, I crave your indulgence to invite Udofot Ukun for his address, after which the singing guest in our audience. Udofot Ukun, please come from. Please, another round of applause. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, special guest of honor. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Jameson Arwell Honorable Commissioners and Chairman of Barristers, uh, on Saturday and the Infatigable Day Faculty of Humanities, Editors Professor Benson Oli, as the Head of Department, the School of Chaplain, Pastor S. Wama, our dear lecturers, wonderful parents of future diplomats. Great Clifford ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all acknowledge this great privilege given to me on behalf of the students of this great department to welcome you all to this historic event, the maiden edition of Diplomatic Week of our dear department at Greenwood University. Therefore, give me a great joy to see this group of eminent personalities and students that have come to be part of this historic event. I can really tell you that without your presence here, this event would be of little or no significance. Ladies and gentlemen, the day of this all important event is my roots my identity. As we all know, every tree without roots is a dead tree and a tree without life. And a tree without life cannot produce or bring forth flowers and fruit of its kind, which is its own identity. Because every tree is identified by its power. So it is with human races. We have our roots and our identity. If we don't know our roots, we are just covering. We cannot be identified. So in this great week, we are going to explore this thing to revive this great department that has been long neglected, to sensitize our parents and students of the need of history, and to inform them of the career opportunities abound for the students of history and diplomacy. The task is enormous because we know the foundation has been distorted sometimes. For instance, from the time the history as a subject was expunged from the secondary school curriculum, a great vacuum was created. And what is history? In a book titled The Development of Philosophy of History, Page 24, Maya Hall, History as Memory of a Society. If this definition is needed to go by, you will agree with me that the whole generation of children has been denied the memory of their society in which they were born. And this has felt the devastating consequences on our young students, graduates, and 
society at large. So there is a judgment, like I said, I don't want to take much time to deliver my speech. It is important that we allow our words to come into this great discipline. Because if the young generation is bereft of the knowledge of the past, how do they know their roots and identity? How do they know where they are, where they come from, where they are and where they are going? Because in history, the past, the present, and the present connects with the future. So I will spend this time to point out some career opportunities that await students of history and ecological studies. These careers include and not limited to high profile career jobs in Ministry of Internal and External Affairs, embassies across the globe. Peace envoy, diplomatic missions. You can also be employed as a political analyst by explaining the political climate of nations. You can be employed as intelligence specialist by gathering critical information. You can also be employed as a diplomat by maintaining good relations between nations. You can be a lobbyist by promoting ideas that can be made use of by those who can make it a reality. You can also be a communication specialist in NGOs and non-profit organizations. The list are unlimited. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is my passionate plea that we all invite you to be part of this project so that we can collectively grow our future diplomats of our world country. It is at this juncture our primary task is to equip our resource group. by providing materials and needs for our departments. These include cash donations, a bus for field trips, resource materials, books, clerical equipment, and the rest of them. So we immensely count on your kind support. And once again, on behalf of this resident, the future diplomats of our country, I welcome you once again to this great gift, beginning from today. And we trust that you will avail yourself of the contents of this program to make your roots your identity. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Please a round of applause, we shall do better than that. He has spoken, we will now react. Shama Sam, stand.
in one century. And people who do not look back to their past will never have a valid footprint to their present and a significant signpost to their future. That's the formula of this one.
focus and the aggressive. The Seventh day Adventist Church teaches the doctrine of existentialism. Who are we? Where do we come from? Why are we? And possibly, what are we going to? It is not about history. So don't shy about it. Be very proud of correct church. That that man there, who is a lawyer, who is a director of the and engineer, will not be able to tell about himself, but you will tell him who he is. That's the beauty. That's, that's what you have. Be proud of it. My very sister, I want to tell you who you are. And you tell the person. Sometimes people who make their places in shit, when they discover that it is about themselves, they never do it before. I want to encourage us. Like my master and I of this lady, whether you emphasize international law, which is part of this kind of law, it's all about international relations. Or you just focus on history and diplomatic studies. It's all about positioning yourself to manage international relations, international affairs, human relationships, across nations, and within the land. Today we have to call Minister of Interior in this country. What do you do there? The minister takes responsibility for making sure that the affairs of the states are properly studied, documented, and presented to government with appropriate administrative actions. It's history. What you can do that for as a graduate of history? And so much. The question of unemployment is not limited to graduates of history. It's everywhere. It affects everywhere. So please take your lessons seriously. And having said that point, I do not want to really go too much to all of them. If you study the history of the blacks, when you talk about my roots, my identity, that is a black brother who wrote this book titled Roots. That is that one. And he traced his origin. The other man by the last of the panel also had to trace his origin up to the back of the world. And it's like he had so many hundred years back. We were able to trace their roots through his that from the head. Myself, I do you know, as an old person's son, as an old son, we have a relationship with the same people. That is why you put the zero to the same. When they are presenting people like us, the moment they get the zero, they ask us, is there no one person there? They will finish with that one person before continuing with the rest of the world. Because they are following the Matana order of Mbis. And where they want to be able to get the same thing. That would be a thing Historically, we have our distance traced to common order. In them we told the neighbors. That's how we took talk. Before getting to this over here, that we were here. And then we separated our brothers from the beach. And we went this way when we came this way. Go to home wire. You know why? You have our people. So please take this program seriously. Anytime something like this is going on, whether you are studying medicine, uh, engineering, law, or whatever, come and partake in this program so that you will be able to know more about yourself. For if you pursue a course of program without the mastery of your environment, you cannot effectively apply that. Let's summarize what my friend this said. He who does not have the soul and spirit of the struggle cannot effectively and committed prosecute it. He can't. Finally, my dear children, the diplomats in the world. Part of the things you need to be 
the way to promote his friend and the problematic service is that you should be able to, from time to time, be writing well informed and learning articles and publishing. Now that we have the social media platform as a privilege, keep writing and publishing. I bet you, while doing that, somebody will come and look for you or ask you. I need to talk with you. Who are you? That is true. Do it. Don't, don't relax to this. It's important. You must protect yourself. You must promote yourself. In doing that, you promote your discipline. I was a brother with my wife last weekend. And somebody told us about a cyber technocrat who was offered 63 million naira by one of our politicians in Nigeria, one of the heavyweights, to do a certain thing which we know is illegal, illegal. to hack into the website of social communication and let you know everything going on there. 63 million. And what the age of the boy, 21 years. And he said, this is phase one of what you are going to be paid. He's going to stay in his mother's house with his pencil. I mean, they uh, have a phone. And he's doing what he's going to be doing. He's not going to be paying much. And he's not going to be paying for that. And he has his premium. Because he was doing certain things that became known and identified by people. And the people said, if you want to do something, please get this person. The same thing will apply to you if you start writing and reacting with, for instance, the Russian-Ukraine war. What do you think about that? When people talk about NATO, people say NATO is a betrayer. NATO is a deceiver. NATO is this. What of you? Well, how do you see the role of NATO vis-à-vis -vis the war between Ukraine and Russia? You analyze things about that. You analyze it also locally. And people could identify you. If you do that, you became great men and women. And they said, service in the foreign mission, diplomatic service, is not meant for lazy minds. You have to, you have to show that they are serious. And somebody will recognize you and identify you and say to the other community, we need this individual. They can place a school for the So please don't be ashamed of being shy about what you're studying. It's a very really great course, it's a great program. Feel proud, they protect yourself from others who start seeing you, and then they will uh, want to join you in the field. Like I said, the management should sit up. Make this thing all involved. This program here is one for one and one. Doesn't make any sense. Instead of that, they put the place of this there, and uh, you see how we uh, grow the department in this place. You will also have to organize programs, and when you do, the programs you organize, you can organize seminars, and they will call people from outside here. You can build societies, sponsor this thing, provide human resources, and get people from within those areas to sponsor this things so that people will become aware of themselves. So that way, this university will be impacting the communities around. And I will say that I have uh, the uh, president of the Eastern University Association to say here, presentation, talk about certain logistic needs. I will make a couple of presentations here. First, Please, when we're doing programs like this, let's have the awareness. For somebody to get to this gate, and somebody at the gate says, I don't know where we're doing this program. That is very A member of the House of Representatives was coming here. She was invited by my daughter. And uh, this morning, my husband and I called him, and he said, You will come. Come to one more day. Today will be fine. Now, why would I ask he had come back and he was there and he came to say he loved to go back to the city and 
na akazi wa mwacho wende ili sana ndio haya kwa kwa ona mtaji wa mwacho ana hasa presenta dia wa mwisho ya kwamba ni kitu let's take this thing serious please this properly for you know coordinate however he has asked us to announce the donation of 200,000 dollars to come Also, my brother Kube spoke to my friend and the candidate of the People's Democratic Party for the government to provide the change in 2003, Professor Adeliza Nicheta Ikonde. Because Ikonde asked me to apologize that he's not able to come personally because he's attending to a very crucial meeting between him and with his other candidates. But because of how serious is taking this in being an academia in such, because an academia was there up to the right of the vice chancellor, it still is short. Like uh, our governor will always do. Our governor has written so many volumes of you know, uh, learned and learned journals. Every single day, the doctor is able to Professor. People might be surprised the day he first out of government house to become a professor the same way. He's been right, that one I do know. Go to his house, go to the hall with the academic job as well as another. So he could I'm saying so because of course I think he's still an academic and he is good. The project then said he would give us a very solid support. He doesn't want to announce anything like what is this, I was unable to get to him. I will surely come back to collect the signal for this association. So he's going to do something like this. <laughs> and then for Cross as a family, um, I think uh, He is 
horizontal. The United Nations of UNICEF is also a horizontal to the government today. They are served as a consultant on so many other things. They are served as a consultant in the Federal Ministry of Education as well as to the uh, partial uh, education transport. It's not about what is done, it's about his ability to be creative and be responsive to the challenges. Science can help you, but the human point that creates science is the greatest weapon. That weapon, you have it, you bless it, and shine. Thank you very much. Thank you, you can do better than us. And uh, we really appreciate you. Very thorough and provocative speech, consolidated on what we've been doing here and this way. Yes, all your concerns will be unity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate your gesture. We, before we wrap up this program, we want to recognize the presence of some people who work here. Uh, we want to recognize the presence of Dr. Clement Ibuwe, the HOD of uh, History and International Relations. Abia State University. You are welcome, sir. We recognize your presence. We also recognize the presence of Obidaya Alpi Esquire, MNI, a member of the Nigerian Student of Management, who is the Head of the Arts and the Commercial Studies in Adventist Technical High School, and Adventist Technical High School and Peace in Abia. You are welcome, sir. We also have a uh, student from a secondary school representing those in the secondary school doing history from our kids. You are alive in Jesus' name. Thank you all, gentlemen and ladies. I pray you are to invite the history and the diplomatic studies of the university for a speech after which the dean of the faculty. this program till now. I want to believe that no one leaving this world today will go empty handed. If for no other thing, whether diplo history and diplomatic students or every other student that have learned one thing, that there is no way we can run away from history. And short of giving a vote of thanks, Ella Mwamboro has been a mentor. He doesn't know that I am, he is, that I am one of his mentees. I caught the fire of the inspiration of his One day, even without my knowledge, he was promoting this course at Adventist Second Technical College. Thank you very much. I will always emulate your work. I, I am not a failure at my level of academic attainment now. And let anyone reading this novel course be a non-entity. I mean that everyone that is reading history and diplomatic student will always stick with the king because that is the position of the historian. May the Lord bless all of you for coming and bless you who has proved to be one million guests that came to this position today. God bless you. We will represent you and I. We in history and diplomatic studies we will live God bless you, sir. That's the last appreciation. You can do better than that. That's the very energetic and exciting and beautiful investment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gradually calling this program a wrap. But before we go, we will hear from the faculty of humanities and the associate team is seated there, the person of uh, Pastor Doctor Inyana Chokmen Kenala. Please come forward with the of thanks and your uh, speech. Thank you, sir. Please have another applause for you. On behalf of the Dean of the Faculty, it's Professor Ben Sinolide, we are glad for all that have been, we are glad for our guests, and our chair, and the professors and the lead uh, presenter, who has actually done so well. We are sure of our students, 
the quality of training which we have been giving you, and we are also proud of you that out there in the society, really, you are going to make me more proud. And I know very much that since you are studying now as a future diplomat, when you have been batched very well out there, you will make a difference in our society. So we are proud of you all, and we thank the HOD for this nice program, and we believe that other faculties will learn from the model of all faculties, which is the faculty of the uh, humanities. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Thank you. You can do better than us. That's the game. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience thus far. We will stand and uh, bring this program to a close by singing the people in this thing matter. After which, we will have a closing prayer by our dear father, Pastor Dr. F. Wow. For the best thing matter. Summit. The official notice will come out, but this 